you're doing? A very good day to you. Uh, this is a very special broadcast of some of the greatest sports and music and film and TV signed collectibles and memorabilia. Genuine, authentic, signed by real celebrities and available to you for some sensational prices. Uh, my name, by the way, is Rob Lock with an E. I'm your host for the evening and I'm joined by the collectibles guru. That's right. If you want collectibles and you need a guru, we've got the man for you. And his name is Gary Ashburn. And here's who he is. Hi, my name's Gary Ashburn. I've been working in the world of collectibles and memorabilia for over 30 years now. And I love looking for those quirky, different sort of items. And those also exclusive limited editions, which you're normally going to love. I've been dealing really for about 20 years plus, but I've been a collector really for probably well over 30 years, from sport to music to unusual documents and autographs. I've seen the uh, the actual pipe stand of Winston Churchill. I've actually held in my hand shoes that uh, Elvis has worn. I love things that are different and a bit quirky. And I love finding those special items and getting the buzz when you do. Every single item we bring will come with a certificate of authenticity. It will have our name, our address, our phone number, you can, you can contact us. And you'll have, most importantly, that symbol of Aftal, which will tell you that you know that's your proof that it is real. And here he is, the man, the myth, the legend, Gary Ashburn. <laughs> How, How are you? Mate? you? Good, to, Good see to see you. Good to see you. Yeah, yeah. Yay. So, well, I know we're, we're on Creating Craft, which is in the U.S. of A. Yeah, U.S. of A. It's been a few years. Years since it we've has. both been let loose in the US of A. I know, because we've been yeah. doing this together now for what, 25 years, something like that, all yeah. around the world? I think so. I think we had hair when I met, didn't we? A little bit anyway. But Yeah, yeah. I, I've still got some. <laughs> yeah, you've, you've been But I, I have to me. glue it on usually before the show. <laughs> so now, uh, tell everybody that hasn't met you yet, because maybe we are reaching a whole new audience. Mm. Uh, you know, these are really impressive things from all the different genres of collectibles and memorabilia. <clears> but why should people buy and why should people trust us and specifically you? Sure. Well, I've been in the get. Well, I've been in the industry about 30 years now. Mm. Um, I used to be a director of the Stanley Gibbons Group, worked with Bonhams, Christie's, people like that over the years. Mm. Um, and basically, everything you see in this show, when we say it's signed, we guarantee it is 100% real. And what that means, it's hand signed. Mm. It's not a not a facsimile. It's not a printed signature. We guarantee that the relevant celeb has held it in their hands and actually signed. And the it actual for celebs you. done the signing. That's yes, right. And the yes. actual yes. celebs done the signing. And the, the piece of footage you just saw uh, previous to this, I'm a member of a society called AFTAL. It's a bit like the PDSA and the UACC in the States mm. that you might know. Uh, basically, it's your safety valve, really, that the signatures are real. There's no ifs, no buts. You can buy safe in the knowledge that they are real, and you get a lifetime guarantee and all the paperwork that goes with it. So if you're looking for a different gift, this is the place to be, for sure. And, and by the way, every single thing that we ever bring you um, it can be proven and genuine at any, in any, mm. at any given time and with many of the items there are even photos or sometimes video of those items being signed by the relevant celebrities. By the way, very quickly, we're going to go to the website, but I understand we've got some celebrities watching tonight. Uh, well, I believe there's one or two might be watching, yeah, if they yeah. are. So, uh, Hello, yeah. you know who you are. <laughs> yeah, a certain Mr. Hart, who's quite funny, may be watching. If you are, great, great to see you, man. Yeah. Hopefully see you next time we get to the Big Apple, if we're ever allowed back. But, you know, I know, that's what I'm waiting for you. as well. I haven't seen yeah. my friends and extended family for three and years. And I've also now. had a few messages from people in the States, so i say hello to you in a minute. It, but uh, yeah fantastic well listen go to creatingcraft.com and uh, if you search for collectibles you will find everything that you need or you can just click on watch our shows the big on air button it will take you through to all of these items we're going to show you them all um, for a few seconds in a moment but if you want to shop ahead you want to have a peruse bear in mind a lot of these are one onlys they're, yeah. they're very low stocks well they're, they're virtual low stocks but as I, as I said earlier as well everything is guaranteed it is hand signed and 
you get all the proof and all the you know provenance that it's real. You yeah. see, they're two great football shirts if you're a football fan. Soccer. So, yeah, soccer fan. Yeah, sorry, soccer fan. And we call it football back here, but of mm -hmm. course you call it soccer in the states. But I know it's very big, particularly on the Easter coast. But they've got a Liverpool shirt signed by a Liverpool legend, Stephen Gerrard. Yeah. That is a special limited edition shirt. It's a collector's item in its own right, hand signed by Stephen Gerrard, who was the Liverpool and the England captain. And that shirt mm -hmm. was done purely for the European Champions League yeah, final sure. in 2005 when they won. And you've got Lionel Messi, a, a true legend, the FIFA Player of the Year, six times now. Mm -hmm. Apparently that's going to be really collectible because he's just announced he's leaving Barcelona. So that'll yeah, be the, yeah. the last season of that shirt. And that's always more collectible. The last of the season sure. anywhere. Fans really go mad to get their hands on things like that. So that is a collector's item in every way, shape, or form. Don't even miss out on that. Because once it's gone, we can't get any more. We only yeah. have a few. Then you've got some stamps there featuring uh, the Spider-Man. I just about see it. Is it yeah, Spider-Man? You've got Spider-Man. Well, that's sort of a, a triple, really. You've got Spider-Man, X-Men, and the Hulk. Oh. Prior to up above, we had Harry uh, Kane, who's the England yeah, captain, yeah. Tottenham legend. Tyson Fury football, versus uh, Wilder. Football, uh, boxing boxing yeah. You can play football in them or soccer yeah. but uh, you got some boxing uh, shorts there there I understand are the replica shorts that Tyson Fury wore in his last world championship fight in Vegas mm -hmm. against uh, Deontay Wilder mm -hmm. so they're replica shorts and they're hand signed and they come from a company that Tyson Fury is actually actively involved in all the boxers signed for him we yeah, have other yeah. things next to you Anthony Joshua his big rival also these are private signings done through the company that Tyson involved with. I think we have Mike Tyson as well. So, you know, they're, they're, they're all there. They're like the go-to guys if you want genuine boxing memorabilia. Yeah, and we have photographic and video evidence of all of those items. And then we've got something a little bit different, something oh a really bit of culture gosh. there for I you. I want that, a the personal, Queen. Yeah, that is a hand-signed personal Christmas card that the Queen and Prince Philip have sent to somebody. So it's a one-off piece of British history and heritage. It's it's actually, I know obviously there are quite a few bucks there, but that is something that um, mm. is, it's it's a piece of English heritage. And it has totally and impeccable provenance, impeccable you know, provenance, guaranteed genuine. Guaranteed genuine. And look at the Princess with Diana with a, and that's Prince right, Charles. With the Diana and Charles is more expensive because mm. they're they're rarer and there's and well, again the pictures Diana of well, the pictures yeah. of them. Diana is you know the, the people's princess. Yeah, She's probably the most popular royal ever. Mm. But um, that, that actually also it's the photograph. It's a lovely photograph of her when, obviously when she was with Prince Charles and the kids there. So it's a lovely photo. But once again, it's a hand signed. Uh, you can see the name actually who they've sent it to at the top. Yeah. Guaranteed. We'll show these closer. Yeah, up we'll show them properly. Yeah, that, but course. it's guaranteed hand signed by Princess Diana and Prince Charles. The other ones guaranteed hand signed by the Queen and Philip. Then you look along, we've got a bit of music for you. These records are all coloured vinyl. They were only released in Europe. They're true collectibles. They've gone mad for them. We have very few of these left. We thought we'd just put a few into and the And they're States. not bootlegs, they are these official are merchandise. Bootlegs. They're official yes, merchandise. They're what they actually items. are, really, is radio broadcasts of original live concerts. Mm. But they're all in coloured vinyl. They're collector's editions. And we understand there was less than about 500 released in total, but for Europe only. Yeah. So you wouldn't get these normally in the States. Really, really collectible. All over the world, they've gone nuts to get them. We've just actually, got a handful of them. As we do more of these shows, that's going to be one of the reasons why ladies yeah. and gentlemen you know we have cult followings in the UK and, and we're now going, launching in Australia and all around, yeah. in other countries around the world tune in because there will be a lot of collectibles that you cannot get in in North America that you no, will be able to get right. from you us. won't be able to get them and, and then and Downton then, Abbey everyone's Downton favorite Abbey, yeah and that's actually they've actually got two uh, tw basically they're uh, I'm trying to do uh, inches here but in England they're tw about 12 by 8 inches the yeah. total no, size inches is good that's, is, that's yeah. the American way okay it's a 12 by 10 mount that's set in it's a professionally cut mount with the photograph there Hugh and the Bonneville. hand signature mm -hmm. of Hugh Bonneville and Elizabeth McGovern so that's the ca the Countess of Grantham and the Earl of Grantham two of the key actors they're guaranteed to have hand signed them again yeah, yeah. just a handful to test the market but again we've got very few of them so if you see something you want you know what it's like yeah. getting there quick well yourself. and i was going to say if you are uh, if you're on the west coast make sure you stay tuned till 4 p.m if you're on the east coast make sure you stay tuned to 7 p.m because we're now going to go through all of the items that we have sure. this is a it's a one-off show at the moment it's sort of like a, a tester if you like mm. um 
The UK are not getting any of this. Now, we've had no. some of them on our UK shows. We do a regular show, uh, two shows a month in the UK. Sure. Um, but, so, wake your friends and neighbours, anyone you know who loves any of these sorts of things. Particularly, I would get that Prince, that Prince Charles and Princess Diana. Oh, they in a heartbeat. And they're on four flexi payments. There are no credit checks with flexi pay. Um, and also, if you're paying by credit or debit card, that's all you need. You're pre-approved. You don't mm. have to apply or wait for approval. So spread the cost over four months. Your shipping and handling of 9.99 comes off the first instalment. And it's capped P&P. &P. Uh, sorry, yeah. I keep saying P&P. That's postage and packing in the UK. Sorry. Shipping and handling. Every time I say P&P, &P, people think, oh, does he need the bathroom? <laughs> yeah. um, so yeah. you can ha ha buy everything if you want to. You're only going to pay one shipping and handling charge of 10 bucks. Right. Yeah. Shall we start? That's right. Well, it, you can't get much bigger. This guy classed as the, the best footballer in the world in current days. With these shows as well, do interact with it. It's like a big family, like your craft. Yeah, of course. If you see something you want, if there's something you've always dreamed of, do let us know. Send in an email to the studio. But yeah, let us yeah. know what you want, and we will do our utmost to get it for you. But Lionel Messi, FIFA World Player of the Year, a record six times. Um, his rival's Cristiano Ronaldo, who we'd hope to bring you in a future show. But, um, yeah. Yeah, now they're he's falling announced. over themselves to get this. Yeah, yeah, they're running. <laughs> hold back, hold them back. Yeah, yeah. but uh, Lionel Messi is just like a, a well, a legend icon, a record goal scorer, a great yeah, player. Yeah, and now he's actually announced since we got this that he's leaving Barcelona. Mm. I'll be honest, the prices in the market of these items will go up. Because yeah. obviously, the la any athlete, it's the same as American football, baseball, or anything. When the players play their last season or their first season or when they win a championship, those items become more valuable and more desired. Obviously, yeah. I can't guarantee they're going to go up in value, but on past performance, that's normally what happens. The value goes up, the demand gets bigger, and there's fewer and fewer around. And well, they just go through the roof. I was going to say. But everybody would want that as a football totally. fan because it's going to be the last shirt he ever wore. And especially at the moment because with the pandemic collectibles mm. have been really hard to get so the, we've got these these if you like market prices it's almost like buying fish or steak you know you get the market price on the yeah. day but they genu genu excuse me generally go up not down so yeah. buy while you can if you wait you may pay more later if yeah. you can even get them back and the great thing is if you know i mean obviously soccer has a big following in certain areas of the states yeah, you know does, yeah. i know there's something like over 100 bars in the new york state that show english soccer yeah i've been you know. to every one of them <laughs> yeah that's right and it, well, you probably bid but you'll know what it's like it's, it's very hard to get genuine collectibles of soccer where we in england struggle to get collectibles from you know the american athletes like your you know your footballers and your baseball basketball we struggle to get them in the uk yeah. we have a similar problem here um, for the cult audience that you have you can't get them but if you're looking for true collectibles in their market these are the equivalent of the big big names yeah, yeah. maybe a gretzky's with the ice hockey or something like that. that's what you're getting here big big names in but, their what i love world, you tonight you know? uh, gary is that we've got a bit of something for everybody mm. so if soccer's not your thing if sport is not your thing we've got music if music's not your thing we've got tv yeah. you know if if that's not your thing, we've got royalty, literally yeah. royalty on yeah. the show. Not just you, Gary. <laughs> no, just, no, I'll pretend. Your I house have, is slightly met, smaller. I have been to Buckingham Palace. Have I you have really? The, yeah. I've met the Queen, the Queen of Queen. Philip, yeah. Did you I've really? never had tea, you know. She didn't have enough cake for me. She said she had to get more in next time. But, you know, you could tell I was starving, but never mind. <laughs> you tell, don't go there. But anyway, Stephen oh. Gerrard, yeah. Yes, indeed. Stephen Gerrard, again, a Liverpool legend. And this is a special shirt because you can see it's embroidered with the for this was done for the final in 2005 in Istanbul so that is a very a, a very collectible shirt again special edition and again very hard to get and of course it's signed by Steven Gerrard as you can see there who was the captain of the side you know yeah, yeah, yeah. and also he was captain of England he's a Liverpool legend and interestingly enough he's just taken Glasgow Rangers to the Scottish Championship after many years he's been a busy boy been dominated by Glasgow Celtic now yeah. Rangers have won it like Ooh. so he's a he's a legend in Glasgow as Ooh. well but a great player but it's a very very sought after shirt because of the occasion you know when they won the European Cup that, yeah, was, that, yeah. that he was there he scored a goal he drove them to that victory but I mean if you're a Liverpool fan that is like the holy grail the, again don't miss it they won't have many of them it's really 
cool actually that we're doing this on Create and Craft because mm. Create and Craft uh, it's a crafting channel but they have this club prize if you join the club for 20 bucks yeah. you get $10 uh, back right away to spend as account credit but that's an extra 10% off every purchase so yeah. these are all 10% lower than they would be on any of the other shows yeah, we would do it's, it's great and you do get and uh, as I say a lot of these items obviously we can't guarantee that but you know I do a lot of charity events and things yeah, like yeah. that and a lot of these items when you get the charity dues and everybody's had a couple of uh, sherbets or drinks we call that in the UK you know <laughs> not really sherbets a bit stronger but you know and had a few, <laughs> the prices go crazy because everybody wants to get them and they're all fighting mm. but you've got the opportunity to buy them and more most importantly do keep the certificate of authenticity and the and the lifetime guarantee that comes with it and you could take them to any auction house insurance oh, yeah, company anywhere in the world the yeah. Aftel logo is rec is recognized all over the globe. That's right. Aftel is one of the top two or three autograph trade associations in the world. Yeah. And in the UK particularly, we have American dealer members and, and vice versa. But the great thing is, uh, Aftel is the go-to organisation for authentication, things like the police, the trading standards, you know, uh, that or other auction houses. They go to Aftel dealers to mm. get verification that these are real. And yeah. that's what you get when you buy it here. And the, why, why not just buy online? I mean, I know if you use yeah. our website, you are, but wasn't it something, somebody, I've, I've heard estimates that as much as 95% of signed merchandise memorabilia collectibles online mm. are probably fake. Well, that's what they say, you know. I mean, I used to buy my designer clothes on eBay, but then I realised they didn't make them in my size. So, I realised it's going to be not bought, real, you Yeah, know? you and me both, mate. We just <laughs> yeah. went to the camping section and bought tents. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I got a scout tent, they cut it up and bolted it together. But <laughs> never mind, you know. But, yeah, that's... But it is, it's true, though. You know, collectibles are... Are really you know are very special things they mean a lot to you yeah. and it's like a lot of things if you support a particular team you support them your whole life so maybe you know you're a Brit who's moved over there maybe you've got relatives here whatever it is yeah. or maybe you just enjoy watching soccer you know in this case but you're gonna love these because they are really hard to get and they're special items. one of the things I love when, fab I, gifts. when I go to New York if I'm if I'm watching a game in one of the bar, many the hundred bars in New York yeah a lot of New York bars they, you know, in a lot of bars they'll give you peanuts, like complimentary peanuts. Yeah. But some of these amazing sort of older kind of vintage bars, yeah. they give you cocktail sausages. Yeah. Hot sausages. But you still have had a few too many of them over the years. I well, think, quite. I, do, I do love a good sausage, Gary. Well, I have heard I, the rumor, I have a weakness. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, that's right. You know, say no more. <laughs> yeah, that's um, right. Give me a Cumberland any day of the week and yeah. I'll, be, I'll be the happiest That's a large mate. sausage, It's a very way. large yeah, yeah. sausage, yeah. <laughs> Usually kind of twists and twists and it's turns. a twirly sausage yeah anyway like um, <laughs> move from on sausages um, yeah. to vinyls yeah well these vinyls are very very special i don't we'll, we'll pick them up in a minute but yeah. basically what they are they were they were limited editions maximum of about 500 were released for europe only we've managed to sneak a few into the US but these are extremely rare and each one of them has different vo colour vinyl inside you know, you can, you can pick it up and have a look yeah, inside yeah, you exactly. but you'll see that each one has a different coloured oh, vinyl oh this one's still but sealed, the, you, I better not well, ok, well, one of the others we'll All show right. you in a minute but that Bowie <laughs> yeah. one has got to, I think I'm just checking it out, I think that's actually got um, they call it crystal vinyl so very glam isn't it, a bit of crystal but uh, basically these have been snapped up worldwide by true Bowie fans because they're collect well, they've become almost collector's items you can't get them and of course they were never available in North America Far East no, no. only and you in said Europe 500 was and all that was made I was told only 500 were ever made in the whole world in the world well they were only made in Europe you see it was made yeah. as a Europe release sure, sure. so there's just a handful that we've got and once they've got what we've actually got here is the very end of the stock there are no more no, no, we no. can't replace them I know they're all so sold now out. or never buy These it now are the end, get it yeah. quick or we've somebody else will we've just got a will. few here uh, we have we had one or two other examples, like we had Queen, we had others which have now sold, sold out. out. They've gone Whitney Houston, and sold out. Yeah, but yeah. what we've got are these is minimal, minimal sales. But they look brilliant, framed up on the wall, show a bit of the vinyl. Fans love yeah, them, yeah, absolutely yeah. love them. So and, you got the and Bowie no longer with us, one of the greatest no. losses well. to music uh, in the history of music, I think. Yeah, I remember um, I met him because he come from Brixton where I lived as a kid, you uh, know, and yeah, I met yeah. David Bowie a couple of times. I followed him around. He used to play in a pub in Beckenham in Kent. And oh, yeah, so yeah. 
I met him a few times, he was like a hero, but he was always well, just that, for one day. Yeah, just for one day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, very good. Thank you very much. Yeah. I'll be here all week. I'll be here all available. For, yeah. Don't forget to tip yeah. your waitress, folks. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, great. But yeah, if you want something special, if you know a Bowie fan, honestly, you couldn't get them anything better than that. I know that some people, you can play it, it's a real album. Yeah, yeah. Um, I wouldn't, but, but you but could. But a lot of people would actually just frame them and put them on the wall. Well, you know what I would special. do? I'd take it to a specialist place and have them record it onto, mm. you know, a, a digital file. Yeah, and sure. And then, then just keep it as yeah. a collectible. But vinyl's hot, hot. It's gone through the roof. I mean, in the UK, some of the major supermarkets now are doing away with CDs. They're only stopping vinyl. Yeah, and the yeah. remastered vinyls are well, going like... who buys like, CDs anyway? Who buys yeah. physical media anymore unless it's something... I know. Kind of vinyl, vintage you know, the up from my days, the smell of the vinyl, yeah. the feel of it, it's all come back. And all the supermarkets are only selling vinyl now in the yeah. new year. They're not selling CDs. I've which heard gives that you an about idea. You, that, you know, in about 20 years ago, going around all the record shops sniffing the merchandise. Yeah, I know. I got banned from them all, but I'm yeah. still here now. But, you know, <laughs> <laughs> they didn't, they didn't recognise me in New York and LA when I went around them once. No. So I got away with it. But, yeah. <laughs> indeed, if you're indeed. a vinyl fan, you'll love them. And any Bowie fan, it's, we yeah. tried to put some different price points in. But these are, remember, all collectors and very different. The one in the middle next to it as well is the yeah. Bob Marley. You can hope that one's open, so it give you an yeah, idea. Yeah, it is, it is. And, and, and if you look at the vinyl, shun the colour. Well, let me, actually, let's give you the whole tour. Yeah, so the there tour. is Bob Marley and the Whalers walking the proud land. And then around the back, we have obviously all of the tracks, side one and yeah. side two. And as you can see, it was fit. Marin um, County, California. Yeah. And again, it's, they actually are a radio broadcasts of actual, they're taken from actual radio broadcasts of yeah, those yeah. events. But look Bob at, Marley's oh, massive. I remember, actually, it sounds like I'm boasting, but I actually met Bob Marley as well. I went to a <laughs> You've met a everybody, gig. Gary. Well, they can't get away, see. That's why I chased him, you know. <laughs> Being a sprinter, they, they can't get away from that, me, you know. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> you probably guessed I was a great sprinter, you know. <laughs> yeah. What about the collectibles guru, the collectibles stalker? <laughs> yeah, the stalker. <laughs> but no, I met him in, uh, years ago, I saw a gig in I Ibiza, and he was brilliant, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah And yeah. also, in Brixton, where I live, was a big reggae area, and there was a famous club called the Ram Jam Club, where all the acts, like Jimmy Cliff and all the guys from the mm. States who used to come over, they all used to go in there, and I found, like, the back door and a way to sneak in, you know. Put a yellow jacket <laughs> and you can sneak in the back door when oh. no one's looking, you know. Right, I'll bear that in mind. <laughs> bear that in mind. It's not there now, so you won't get away with it anymore. I, uh, whenever I'm uh, in LA, I go to City Walk, and there's the, the Bob Marley bar, I believe, in City. Oh, right. I forget what it's called. Yeah. Well, he was huge. He, he sort of almost brought reggae to another league, Margaritaville, didn't right? he? Margaritaville. Yeah. Didn't he almost brought reggae to another league, Bob Marley? Oh, he yeah, was, yeah. It was almost, I mean, reggae was really passionate and earthy, you know, in the areas where I lived, you know. And But he took it to another level, you know. And he's massive and obviously passed away far too young. Yeah. So anything to do with Bob Marley, again, is the fans really passionate for and him. Also, you know? uh, ladies and gentlemen, sorry to talk money here and you bring up the dirty word of the dollars, but 50 Three ninety nine if you're in the club, fifty nine ninety nine if you ha you're not in the club and don't have any interest in joining the club. Yeah. I mean, sixty bucks. All right, plus you've got to pay your p uh, your shipping and handling, but six so seventy bucks if this mm. is the only thing you buy for something this collectible. There are a handful left in the whole world, and once they're gone, they will never what? be repeated. They will no. never be available ever again uh, anywhere else unless one of those private collectors resells. Yeah, sells them. one or something on yeah. a website or in an auction. But basically, what happens with a lot of these things? Things. People, with, especially with artists like Bowie, Marley, once mm. they get them, you never see them because they put no, them away no. and store them because they're so popular. Yeah. And the demand exceeds the availability, and the prices start well, going up. You if, know. You, if you have a if you sell collectibles in the US, if you have a little store or something like that, then yeah. you know get what we have left because you oh, can yeah, resell you, them. They'd probably go. I don't like to say that, but you probably sell them for an awful lot yeah, more. I would, yeah, know. I would have thought so. I've got to say hello quick. By yeah, the way, go, ahead, I know, go ahead. I know Sandy Sands in Chesapeake Bay and oh. Sheila probably watching. So I hope you. There, looking Amazing. out, looking out at Chesapeake Bay. I love to me. Chesapeake They're Bay. probably listening, but looking out at a better view. I know, but, yeah, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. they'll love it. You know, so it's great to have your company because I know you're there. But you, and Theo in New York, so ah. hope you're good, bro. Good to see you, man. Good you look at him. He's a sort of a video recorder and a, oh, really? you know, works in TV up there. Oh, so I know he's fantastic. watching. So. And, and Gary, don't put yourself down. If it's a choice between the view of Chesapeake Bay or watching you on a on a 55 inch, I know what I'd go for. Yeah. Chesapeake, Chesapeake Bay. Bay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what I'd go for and all, yeah. yeah. There's a couple of nice bars there as well. Nice walk. Beautiful. Oh. 
You'll discover as you watch Gary and me more regularly that we tend to equate any geography around the world with the bars that are in that particular place. Yeah, you'd never guess. We don't you, drink. That. No, no. Well, he's... Uh, no. I only ever drink when I'm alone or with someone. <laughs> yeah. And it's usually him. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a bad influence. I used That's to be a rugby player. You may know the game of Me rugby, too, some yeah. of you, you know, with the oval ball. But um, I blame it on that because the game only took an hour and a half. It's not like you're American football. So we're in the bar two hours earlier than you guys are. So, I went to the Super you know. Bowl in 2001 or two. It was to, in Tampa Bay. And I'd never, ever been before. I knew nothing about American football. I'd just moved to America. Yeah. And um, I literally said to the guy next to me, why do they keep stopping the game every 30 seconds to a minute. He said, oh, those are commercial timeouts. Yeah. Well, like, you stop the game for commercials. We yeah. don't do that in, in the UK. No, that's the, right. Yeah. That's because uh, there's no money over here. We're, yeah, we're a bankrupt right. nation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, this is the same idea as the other two. but this, this is, is th a double. Th this has never even been on in England either. No, This no. is unique. So it, it's the first time it's been on the TV anywhere in the world. And, um, and this, is, this is a oh, double wow. album, hence the price. Yeah, but again, it's yeah. very, very rare. And with these, I took the last few that were left of all of them. So there are no more. I can't replace them. There are right. none left. Sure. I had to almost break a few arms to get the U2 because I was promised, not literally, you know, I'm a pussycat on this. Uh, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> Even though you might sound to yeah. the contrary. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Yeah. Give me that. So, or else. Yeah, yeah, that's right, though. <laughs> uh, but uh, the U2, again, very, very rare. Huge following. So One of the again, biggest bands in the world. Yeah, it's massive. But again, if you want something very unique, you know, someone who loves U2, do have a think, all these gifts mm. as well, that, you know, if you think they're a bit more than maybe you could have at the moment want to pay out or can afford, maybe have a think about joining together because you know someone who's going to love these items. That's yeah, the key yeah. thing. You think about it. You'll know someone who will love a lot of these so maybe club together no, get them something they'll never forget that's um, to where be they honest, are, i don't yeah. think a hundred bucks is is a lot of money at all really relatively no. speaking when you think about what it costs to go out and i mean when i when i uh, the, when i left la it was mm. you know eight, nine bucks for a beer yeah 15 20 for a cocktail you know kind of thing <laughs> yeah so or to go out and eat i mean a hundred bucks for, t for two people to go and eat out at a reasonably f a decent fine dining restaurant Hundred sure. bucks goes nowhere. Wouldn't no. even get a drink with that. No. So you know, <laughs> this is something you can treasure for life, hand it's, down to future generations, yeah, and maybe sure. even resell in the future if you yeah, want to. Possibly, yeah. yeah. It, it's different. It's it's something different. We try to put a mix of everything. You know, we got the box in here in front of me as well. You know, the mm. the royalty. They're all different items. Something just just to sort of like titillate the audience. So yeah, yeah. Uh, we're running out of time. So, so uh, yeah. let's should we crack on with? And I want to get through everything. So let's have a look at these incredible royal signatures. Mm. Again, they are the real deal this is yeah. the queen the actual queen of england queen elizabeth ii mm. and her um, unfortunately recently deceased husband prince philip an original christmas card hand signed by both yeah and this is what they would have selected and sent to one of their own friends so it's hand signed by the queen our current queen elizabeth ii and Prince Philip, who, as you obviously know, very recently sadly passed away. Yeah. And you see they put the year 1966. So yeah. this is a one-off item, really. Well, there's one. Yeah, you've got to buy rare. it right away if you but want But if you it, want you know, something yeah. that's a piece of British heritage, that's what you've got. And again, you know. It's the flexi pay, no credit check, no application, no mm. waiting for approval. If you've got a credit or debit card, put a quarter of it on the, the you know, your card now mm. with the, the 10 bucks shipping and handling. Get it within seven to 10 days. You yeah. know you've got it. But you That's have to right. be quick on that one. You have to be extremely quick. And yeah. it is a piece of true British heritage. It's sort of thing you perhaps see in a British museum or the v &A or something yeah, like that. Very, real. very. And then, of course, the Queen. And then we have the other sort, yeah. of, sort of alternative of this, which is... Um, Princess Diana, Diana and Prince Charles. And we've Prince even on Charles. previous shows we've had uh, Charles Dickens. We've had all, oh, we've all, had all kinds sorts of, of things. Uh, amazing yeah. things yeah. This this is uh, again Ch Charles. Now you can see the name. It's ha it, that looks like the uh, signature of Charles. Actually, has written the name of the person. Yes, but that's yes. hand signed signature of Prince Charles and of course Princess Diana and the two young princes uh, William and Harry. Um, Harry, of course, now currently living in, uh, in, the, in US, the States with Meghan. Yeah, yeah with Meghan, but. Uh, there they are having a little ride on the donkey, much like or a horse, you know. Absolutely yeah. superb. Uh, actually, somebody's really. already bidding for Princess Diana yeah. and Charles this for this. So if you want that, there are a couple of people. If you want it, make sure you check out quick. 
because uh, yeah. we it will go. Yeah. And again, it, you know, I mean, I don't want to hype things up. But in, in an auction environment, these go can go for phenomenal money. Oh, sure, sure. And what's happening? They're starting to creep up considerably, mm -hmm. especially things like Diana's massive. Oh, Japan, America. Yeah. I remember I was in Holland when she died, and I think 40 different people from around the world shook my hand that day because we were yeah, yeah. realised we were British. You know? also, to get she her, touched her, her signature. Millions. Yeah. Oh, and, yeah. But to anything that she signed is, millions, is usually yeah. yeah as you and say. of course, the way their life developed, their relationship developed to have both the signatures on there mm. you know whatever your morals your views are whatever you believe those two signatures they didn't do a lot together, together in the end did well they? probably no. not I mean I can't understand that why I gave Diana my number but she never she run, never called oh. never run must have written it down wrong but anyway you know <laughs> what I mean but Charles and Diana that is again a piece of British history mm. and if you are on the phone or the internet I have the same problem with Jennifer Lawrence grab, by the way <laughs> grab that quick because you're buying a piece of true British history you really are absolutely superb I'm, I'm envious whoever gets that I I really want that. I wanted yeah. that the last time we did it. It's just a bit out of my price range, yeah, unfortunately. But again, have a think about putting together maybe, you know, buying a, a gift, buy it for a special occasion, a retirement, a special mm. birthday, anything like that. That is a, a, a magical piece of And again, English absolutely history. guaranteed genuine, provably genuine in, in any court of law, in any court in the land yep. or in the world. You, get, you can buy it with complete peace of mind. And you get your life to keep the certificate of authenticity. It's got my name, my phone. Oh, I'm sorry yeah. about that. Yeah. But it's got everything there, so do get that if you want it. It's a marvellous piece, something somebody will love and cherish forever. I just want to quickly remind you, we have got Hugh Bonneville's signature, Downton Abbey. Scott Sedita is watching, my, the, uh, who runs one of the preeminent acting studios in Los Angeles, for yeah. whom I worked for many years. He's a huge Downton Abbey, Abbey fan. Well, big... So those are coming up. Um, so we've got both of them. There's yeah, Hugh Bonneville and Elizabeth McGovern for 248, uh, 389 if you're in the club, or 279 if you're not but let's go on to some boxing shall we because that's massive of course and yeah. the big fight was just cancelled wasn't yeah, it yeah we've got a big fight i mean um we've got to start with we've got two two british fighters that between them hold all the heavyweight world championship yeah, yeah, yeah. belts now which is very anthony unusual joshua, AJ. first one anthony joshua aj we're waiting for the fight between the two brits you know i know um uh, tyson fury has to fight uh, deontay wilder a third time which seems maybe a bit um I don't know, but he's fighting Controversial? Him, so. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah, maybe. But Anthony Joshua, again, we have photographs of him signing. It's a private signing, and he signs for only three companies in the world. And one of them is the company that Tyson Fury is actively involved with, funny yeah, enough. Yeah, yeah. So that is signed by him. We can tell you where, when. We have photographic and video evidence of him actually signing. And the same we do with uh, Tyson Fury. So if you want to get any of those boxing gloves, snap them up brilliant provenance with them again mm. we have photographs of and a video of Tyson Fury actually signing them you know so you can't go wrong with those and good luck to the Brits in their next fight because if they lose they're going to have a, a big payday go missing if either of them lose that's for sure yeah and what a but, payday um, my god yeah so it goes, Joshua's got a fight in September, and I believe now the, the Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder, third time route is going to be in October. So, yeah. you know, both great guys. But if you want something like this, these look stunning. You can actually buy little display cases to put them in, which stack on top of each other. You'll be able to get them in the States as well. If yeah, you have any yeah. problems, let us know. Send us an email or a, to the studio or something. We'll tell you a point in the direction where you can get them. But they look yeah. brilliant, and they're real. I want to say, by the way, you're, you know, your money is safe also. You're buying from a company that's been around for 18 years. Mm. Gary's been doing this 30 years. I've worked with Gary for 25 of those. We've done shows all around the world. Yeah. Um, it really is the premier destination and the only television destination we know of at the moment where you can buy these very rare, genuine, legitimate collectibles and memorabilia. Yeah. Diana's about to go. Diana and Charles are about to go. Last call on that, please, or you might very well miss it. Um, so we've, we've had jo AJ, Anthony Joshua. Let's go on to his opponent, shall we? Quickly, Tom. Tyson Fury, Fury. There you again, are. the yeah. real man has held that glove with his real hands and with a real pen and signed that real signature. That's right, and hand signed, as you say, you know. Yeah. You can't go wrong. I mean, he, you know, he, he, he is... 
is, is well, they've had what? Uh, they've had three three documentary series about him in the UK and about mm. his life and his world. Mm. Known university calls himself the Gypsy King. Yeah, his yeah, other yeah. his other interesting thing, which if you, you know, keep your eyes out. He actually always sings American Pie at the end of the fight in the That's ring right. when he wins. And I know that they're trying to put something together with Don McLean, who's obviously the originator of uh, of Tyson Fury. Yeah, but don't tell yeah. anyone. That's a little secret. But keep your eye out for that. You know. And we but might, know we might have an exclusive um, well, angle never on know. that. You, you never, never know. know. We're things, trying. Things can we're happen. Trying. Can, I just, can I just? Can I ask? Because yeah. obviously we're ship. We these are being shipped from the UK, and mm. I want to be upfront about that um, because that's where we're based and broadcasting from right now. But how are they getting shipped? Are they tracked? Are they? Uh, what are they insured? Oh yeah, all everything. Of that kind of stuff? Everything comes by trackable, fully insured uh, bases. It's all a courier service always. Yeah, okay, you good. know, you could, I won't better mention the names. You know the companies, yeah. but the big names, and we guarantee at work. They're going to be with you. We, we say because sometimes there's delays with you know customs or something. Not yeah. normally because these yeah. come with a courier. But probably we'd say probably allow 10 to 14 days to be fair, yeah. just in case. But you'll probably receive them in five to seven. Yeah, they come sure. by courier. We've spent loads of stuff to the states. Yeah, you know? and when don't you sign up at createcraft.com, it's free to join. Unless you join the club, you can join the club. You don't have to. But we do have it. Actually, you know what? I'm being stupid. Anything you buy today at the full price, um, anything over 30 bucks, you get a free membership anyway. It's on the website. So when we give you uh, a $20 value, 10 of it goes straight back as account credit. So there it is. It's, yes, it's new membership month, free club membership, worth 20 bucks when you spend 30. So everyone's going to be spending 30 if you're not in the club and you're buying anything tonight. And yeah. then you get 10% minimum off of anything else and everything else you buy. That's right. Can't yeah. go wrong. Right, okay, let's and move it, on. Yeah, Harry Kane. Yeah, Harry Kane. Yeah. From White Hart Lane. <laughs> Harry Kane, of course, Tottenham, record goal scorer, England's captain, great yeah. player. Scorer Rumors. in the Euros final, right. wasn't it? Or what you've actually got here, yeah, what you've actually got here is a mini road sign from their original home in White Hart Lane. So any expats or people who know their old reg, that is where Tottenham originated. He played at, uh, to originately? Originally <laughs> played. <laughs> originately, they did play, but not Not so lately. good with the words. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I need new false teeth for Christmas. Yeah. But there you are. I've got, I've got, I've got hand, you covered, mate. Yeah. They made of wood. I hope you don't mind. Made of wood, yeah. Well, and glue, so I don't move. Indeed. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, Harry Kane there, hand signed that for you as well. So it's, again, a true piece of real... If you're a Tottenham fan or you know someone is, or an England fan, great gift. Hand signed by uh, by Harry Kane himself. And again, a little frame of it, ready to just sit on your wall. It's, it's a great item. And we have Harry Kane, and then I think we also have um, it available in this show, we also have a similar one as well coming up with someone else. But... Oh. Uh, we Very do. Special. Uh, Marcus Rashford, though, is next, I think. Uh, that's not yeah. the sign, is it? That's... He, yeah, Whoa. he's like Ooh, yes, yeah, of course, a triple. Yeah. yeah, this is a mount. Yeah, a triple mount. You basically got three six by four inch photographs, and his hand signed signature in the middle there. So that is ready to go mount and put in a frame. Not actually framed, but ready to go into yeah, a frame. Sure. But a Marcus Rashford, if you do follow soccer. Big name in the UK, great player for Manchester United, and he also received massive accolades in the, you know, the, the COVID situation, the lockdown. Yeah, of course. Did tremendous work for for young kids to get the took on the government really and got meals, at schools for right. families yeah, without, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, didn't lad. have too much money. Really cares about his roots. He's a great guy, and he's done a marvelous job. You know, actually bending the arm almost of the government to make changes so that young people and those who needed help got help. You know, so yeah. he's a footballer known for banging the ball in the back of the net, but he's also a bit of a, he's going to go down a bit of a historian. Is that a technical football or soccer term? Something like that, yeah. Bang it in the back of the net. Yeah, something like that. That's a Cockney expression yeah. of kicking the ball into the back of the goal. I've already know. explained how, well, you're not really Cockney, are you? Because you weren't born in East London, were you? No. You I have was, to be born within earshot of the Bow Bells, which yeah, is a church. Yeah, I was actually the Bells born in the church. north of England, you know, where were you really? near to Scotland and I didn't everywhere. know that. Yeah, I was a warrior, you know. I could have been an extra in Braveheart, but you know. Wow. And, uh, but they took I'm hoping to, to be in the next Game of Thrones. All oh, right, yeah. yeah. But they took me down to London at a young age, as you can guess. And, as I say, I was a neighbour of uh, David Bowie. Wow. Not an exact neighbour. How marvellous. How marvellous, yeah. How marvellous. And he was a star. Yeah, oh, sorry, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Stop. Yeah, you yeah, see, yeah. that's cool. We call that segue in the business. Yeah, yeah. I know I'm just a humble actor, but although you probably don't know, I'm just a hum <laughs> You probably see me in loads of dramas and comedies and films it's and TV shows. It's always drama when we're around in the, the US, together, yeah. really. But, oh, know. it is a bit of total drama. <laughs> 
That's yeah. right. We, we put Love a, Island to shame. I know. This is a lovely item, again, something different. Each one of these is a, has four postage stamps. They're all officially licensed and endorsed by Marvel. And you've got uh, the Hulk, you've got Spider-Man and X-Men. Each one of them is placed with the larger image. It's known as a stamp sheetlet. Sheetlet. So you've got three sheetlets. stamp sheetlets. Yeah. I love that it's one. coming with my sheetlets. Stanley Gibbons background. Yeah. <laughs> three stamp sheetlets, all framed up. It's a lovely item. It's a very affordable item. Great way, one bit for a youngster or something to get them into it. But don't get me wrong, it's a serious collectible. Officially mm. licensed and endorsed. Hang it on the wall, anyone would love it. And on two flexies as well if you want to spread the cost. $53.99 is the uh, the main price if you join the club or are a member of the club already, $48.59. Yeah. Uh, now, oh, 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 we have a pair of signed boxing shorts for you. Yeah, these are signed in silver sharpie. Nice, you can't see it too well there actually, but it is very clear, believe it or not, when you mm. see them. These are sort of like a greeny color as well. Basically, these are the shorts that uh, I understand the re these are the replica shorts that Tyson Fury wore in the last fight with Deontay Wilder. Yep. So these are replica shorts, same quality and everything, hand signed, you know? So really special. And again, something different. Hang them on the yeah. wall, they look brilliant. Put them where you hang them, you put them in a frame, but they look brilliant. You can they hang do. them where you like, but you know, they, the, they do you, look good in a frame. You do you, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, the choice is yours, The decision baby. is yours, yeah. yes. Uh, now, uh, remember, we have got uh, also Downton Abbey, and there are lots of other things on our website if you go to createcraft.com and follow the links through to this show. But this is, it's just, we've got a couple of people duking it out for this, so the, yeah. who's going to get it? I mean, to be frank, I don't like, anyone who knows me know I don't, I don't hype things up. As I said, I used to be a director of Stanley Gibbons, who are the biggest and the oldest stamp business in the world and they actually hold the royal warrant. Mm. So in that capacity, when I was there, we would look after the Queen's collection and the collection of the land, you know, so we would be able to go in to Buckingham Palace. So I know the passion and the desire mm. to mm. get items like this is immense. And with Diana and Charles, she is so popular and so rare that to get something with her signature and Charles and a lovely photo of the boys at the time, all that adds to the yeah. de desirability. And the that fact is, that that was a card that they hand signed and sent to somebody. Well, they selected the image, they chose it and they yeah. hand signed it and you can see it was sent to a personal friend. So it's a one-off piece of British English heritage. The only place you'd normally see that in a museum. But if you buy that, put it in a drawing room or somewhere special, an office, mm. people are going to look at that. It's going to turn heads. It's a yeah. massive, massive piece and probably as time goes on I can't guarantee I don't buy it for that reason but as time goes on based on past performances something like that would very likely Go increase in value. in value actually I, I I know you always get keen prices on these items I think that's undervalued as it is so I think you're getting well, a really good price for it well, remember uh, all the items are on the website there are a couple of things I think we didn't get a chance to look at in in very great detail because the show well, you know 45 mm. minutes is not a very long time is it Gary no, for we'll what we do see if we can work a bit more that's longer squeeze a bit more out of them next time eh? yeah <laughs> well well we'll do a whole an evening of collectibles and, yeah but do great. stay tuned you or you can always contact us collect what is it collector requests at gmail.com collector yeah. requests at gmail Tell us what you want. Let's know. Love yeah. to be there. Thank you, guys. Yeah, great to see you. Yeah, and great thanks to see you.